Yo hello, it's Revy here and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can make two different types of liquid text in After Effects and yeah, let's begin. So the first thing you're gonna do is make your project and you can choose yourself, you know, what resolution or frame rate as, as you want. And uh, yeah, you, may, you make your composition and then we can start off by adding a text. I'm going to write name for the sake of this tutorial now, 300 maybe, and then Align the text, perfect. And then I want something more to happen in the text, so I'm gonna gonna add a texture here. You can find these types of uh, of textures if you uh, search up uh, like holographic textures. You can find these type of textures then. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna make that one under, and then go to stencil alpha, make it something like this. Then you can move this however you want. So maybe like. Something like this, and then we could add liquify now. Liquify, and then you press here, and then you can drag down just like that on your text. Okay, so yeah, something like this. And uh, yeah, if you want to do some more things, you could like uh, add some glow, maybe. Add glow. Done. Add two different glows. Yeah, I don't know, something like this. And if you want to make this maybe cartoony, I don't know, I'm just brainstorming here. Uh, uh, you can just add the cartoon, then it will make it a little bit more, yeah, cartoony. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, something like this maybe. I think this looks pretty cool, good in my opinion. So yeah, that, that is how you make the 2D version of the text and yeah moving on to the 3d one okay so now for your uh, 3d text you you're just gonna type in name once again or you know whatever you want to type and then make a solid layer and then add element 3d and you go down to custom layers and then custom text and masks and then press name or you know whatever you <laughs> Rotten, uh, and then go to scene setup. Then you press extrude here, and I usually like to make the bevel a little bit thicker, so maybe 10, something like that, and then, or maybe a little bit more actually, 15. Yeah, 15 looks good. Then presets, physical, then chrome, then we go down here to chrome, and then two textures, and then environment. And yeah, so you just add uh, add a, a texture there. For example, the, the holographic texture I was mentioning before. And yeah, when you're feeling done, you press OK. And then you can hide that layer. And then here, maybe like change the position. So something like... Maybe go to bend and then bend the text a little bit, maybe 25 for example, to make it a little bit more realistic the text. Go down to render settings, uh, ambient occlusion, enable AO, drag this up to maybe maybe 30, I think is a good number, something like that, then it looks pretty good. And then you go, yeah, you can go into render settings again, go into physical environment and rotate environment. So if you want to fix the, yeah, the colors or like how, how it looks, you can rotate the environment, so... Yeah, something like this looks good. So when you have fixed that, you can start now by adding the liquify effect. Liquify, I've done that before, you just... So yeah, I think something like this looks kind of good. And uh, when you're done with the liquify thing, you can, if you want to do the same as before, like add uh, cartoon. So it makes it a little bit more, yeah, <laughs> cartoony. And uh, I don't know, something like this maybe. 
And you can add glow, maybe glow there, something like that. Just copy it and then uh, having you bigger the radius. I think this looks kind of kind of good. And if you want to continue on, you can uh, duplicate the the text. So you press Ctrl D and then add edge detect. And if you don't have the plugin, you can add find edges instead. Then you go to mono edges. Uh, I think this is okay. Then I glow, duplicate, I don't know, something like this, and then make it a scale bigger, so something like that. Then you just gonna drag this under the other one. Yeah, something like this. You can make it this a little bit smaller. Maybe, maybe you wanna have it to be purple, you just add four color gradient. Then just copy this pink. Purple thing and then just press color and it becomes something like this. Yeah, color. Then to get rid of the edges there, you just add the vignette. Classic one. So yeah, something like this. I think this looks pretty good in my opinion. And yeah, if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I could make, please comment that down in the comments. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, have a great day guys. See ya.